Hi, I'm Lorne Lanning, creator of Oddworld, and this is an IGN exclusive Oddworld Soulstorm level reveal, Old Trellis. In Soulstorm, we wanted each level to begin with a greater sense of epic scale at a camera system and a 2.9D system and more gra graphics rendering capability than we'd had in the past would allow us to introduce the level to the player as sort of shortening their conceptual distance between where they are and where they need to get to. And this we would do by moving the camera around in classic game orienting ways. But we wanted to do it while sustaining the ability of the 2.5D control system, but carry on to a greater dimension and more epic scale through what we call the 2.9D. In this case, we have to rescue the Mudokins from a caged mine down below that they're trying to get out of, and you need to lead them back to the train. That's the mission. We also wanted to increase the player's need and desire to explore more in the environments that we were hoping to make larger than levels in our previous games. And here, we were also introducing more of a player wallet, economy, and collectibles, but the collectibles were really towards crafting. And so we kept it to what I would call crafting light, which was intended to widen the range of ways that you could solve a puzzle and also give you a reward for the exploration and collecting that you had done. In this case, Abe has crafted a smoke screen, which essentially gives him a hide zone that he can place anywhere for a more stealthy, non-aggressive approach. The craftables can typically be used at their base level, which means no crafting. You got something from a vending machine or you're mixing that with more elements and you're winding up with something more powerful. In this case, Abe is just getting a rock candy, and that's a base item that'll be leveled up later. But it gives him a offensive throwable that can at least knock characters unconscious if you hit them enough times. Here, Abe finds his first follower from the old trellis area. So you'll notice in Soulstorm, we added what we call slig poles, like a fire station where a slig can now actually go between levels. In this case, one a slig is down below, he normally wouldn't have a firing range on you, but in waking him up by you know, drawing attention, by speaking to this follower, the slig will start to climb the pole. When he comes off the pole, he becomes deadly. And in this case, that gets a kill. And with our highly frequent degree of checkpoints, when Abe dies, he is born pretty close to the problem that whacked him. So now Abe's going to approach the problem again, but this time use the stealthier approach. Players will also notice that we added uh, another dimension to Abe's stealth ability, which is anytime you're stealthing around, his game speak will also be whispered. So you can game speak other characters in stealth mode, but you're going to have to retain yourself at a sneaking pace. So uh, to be used cautiously. Now, earlier in this path, Abe had scavenged out of some lockers some tape. The tape has a special purpose in here because we have the ability to choose a lethal or non-lethal option to deal with characters, not only through stealth, but also through do we kill them or do we have a way to neutralize them without harming them, which would be better for Abe's ultimate score, which is his Quarma, which is earned through the accumulation of his deeds. Here you'll see rock candy has a certain value, but you want to enhance upon that. So we enable that if you find say rubber bands, you're able to create bounces that are added that will bounce and you can use, it's kind of like pool. You can use angle degrees to bounce and stay in a safe zone while dealing with dangerous enemies without making yourself vulnerable to getting shot up. When choosing a non-lethal approach, it's usually a character sleeping or you've knocked them unconscious. You have the ability to bind them. You can loot them. In all of these, you have wake up times, uh, unconscious timeouts, th things that are creating time pressures for you to try to achieve a non-lethal approach before they wake up without getting your guys killed. Essentially ways to increase the tension on your moment by moment encountering with enemies. Oh, 
Now Abe's made it to the bottom of the level where he can get access to all of the laborers that he needs to rescue out of the caged up mine. And this he was separated from early in the story. But you'll see how our 2.9D is connecting. Uh, it's going from an optimal 2.5D playing path and then it starts going into curve paths that are using the dimensional environment better. But the control system isn't changing at all. And that was quite a challenge for us. Yeah, to sort of sustain the classic playability, but get a lot more dimension into the cinematic look of the world and the sense of journey being thicker into the world. And one thing to note here is that you'll notice Abe's scale is changing in the relationship of the camera, you know, where he is on screen, how big he is on screen, but the controls and the rest of the gameplay mechanics are all holding up consistently. And that was important so we could change the sense of dimension and how big the environmental threat looked versus how personal and intimate combat situation might be or puzzle situation might be. Now in this scenario, we've cut out the journey where you have to go into the mines and solve a problem so you can come out and let these guys free. So we're just cutting to the guys becoming free. Uh, but you'll see here how we wanted to get a lot more characters on the screen that you would be responsible for defending at any one time. And this meant a lot of efficient, efficiency challenges that we, we had to face in dealing with this number of characters. Uh, and also new challenge situations that made sense out of it and you'll see we call the silos which is a whole series of characters are going to climb up these ladders your laborers that you're helping and they just become brutally vulnerable and you need to keep them safe during their climb or it just goes very bad it can reach the point where it's just raining down bodies so it can be quite stressful and you know we were a bit on the fence over it. like it might that be a, a kind of intense or might that be in and it, we just kept on coming back to it's odd world so it's kind of like we're expected to do something that's this uh this ridiculous in terms of saving guys in dire circumstances but uh, that's what you need to do so so now this is what we're going to see this is uh, the the mudakins all have to climb to the top and ideally, you know, save as many as you, of them as you can before they get wiped out along the way. And so your foreground strategy is, is determining your uh, glory or trauma that's happening in the background. And this scenario here is the player is going to use the followers as uh, an extra defense to try and keep the climbers safe. So Abe's going to position them to both protect himself and defend his position and use them to attack those that are attacking our climbers or attacking Abe. This is where we built in the capability to be able to gift your followers whatever additional throwables you had crafted on your own. So Abe's looting, scavenging, pickpocketing, the things he collects and the things he crafts eventually... Uh, as you get deeper into the game, you can start using those things to gift to your followers and build up a more powerful defensive or offensive force. As these climbers are trying to make it to, to the next rest area that we call it, they're vulnerable within the distance between where you release them from and where they're climbing to. And in the course of you releasing them, it's going to start setting off alarms. And those alarms are going to start spawning enemies out of guard towers to come out and try and stop these guys from making it all the way to the train. Now with each progressively more difficult section, you get access to more core vending machine craftables that you can make into more powerful things that you're gifting, using both yourself and gifting to your crew. Now this is just cutting to a later level showing how this end boss situation escalates 
uh, as you get more more powers and things get more dangerous so this is a later level in necrom and what's happening here is all your skills are against the clock so as more opposition is trying to kill the guys climbing you only have the ability to combat the threat in the foreground but they have to reach the top of these enormous you know, tall ladders so that you can reach the train until you can save them in the meantime in your foreground layer that you're combating there are other Mudokans that you'll use, as we saw in the other case, and as they power up and go with you, you're also saving them along the way. But the guys on the ladders, you can't save them until they reach the top. And that's where things just continually heat up. All your skills of what you've learned in combative play against the clock, where the slower you are and the worse you do, uh, the worse the outcome for those trying to climb the ladders. Okay, picking back up where we previously left off at Old Trellis, where Abe is still working to guide the Mudokans to the top of the ladder, where they can reach the train and join the rest of those followers that have already been saved. We see Abe rescuing more Mudokans, getting good karma for it, and now he's approaching the train. On the train is when you get your final tally. We have tally screens that show you this is something new for Oddworld, but we're showing you much more of the achievements and the exploitations that you did or didn't take full advantage of while you were playing so you see what you missed you are tempted to go back and find things that you missed or choose to play it with an entirely different approach and get a different outcome of achievements and these tallies are happening in every level throughout the game of Soulstorm and of course you can then post those times and share them to leaderboards along with all the achievements and all those scores mm -hmm. 